Our first young lady is a very funny young lady. Let's bring her up here now. Let's kick off our show with Ms. Pat. Ms. Pat. <laughs> I start by saying, ladies, I've been trying to lose weight, but I'm in that first stage, you know, you know when we just thinking about it. <laughs> I gotta lose weight, cause I'm tired of shopping at plus size stores like Lane Bryant. <laughs> Who in the fuck told Lane Bryant that fat girls like wildlife prints on their clothes? <laughs> Zebra, tiger, alligator, Garkzilla. <laughs> I'm walking through the mall with my polar bear shirt on. <laughs> and my leopard pants. <laughs> Do you know security had a nerve and try and tranquilize me? <laughs> I'm like, get the hell away from me, I'm not a polar bear. <laughs> but I do like shopping there when they got my favorite panties on sale, three for $60. <laughs> Material cost. <laughs> But I hate when the cashier don't know what it feel like to be a plus-size woman. I get to the register with my three for 60 panties. The cashier go have in there to take my drawers and hold them up and start folding them like the American flag. I look back, people salute me and shit. And I don't know if you know this, but when you a plus size woman, other plus size women automatically think you they friends. <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck away from me, fat girl. <laughs> we may not be fat for the same reason. <laughs> you probably ate too much. My thyroid could be fucking up. I'm from Atlanta, I'm from Atlanta. I grew up in Atlanta. Um, not the good part, the hood. <laughs> I grew up with an alcoholic parent. I don't know if any of you guys ever had alcoholic, drunk ass parents. But my mom was the type of alcoholic, the most she drank, the most she wanted to motivate me. <laughs> Every day when I come home from school, she would say shit like, Pat, reach for the stars. <laughs> and I hope you hit the sun and burn up. <laughs> Be all you can be, and if that don't work out, you can always be a hoe. <laughs> like, damn, mama, I'm eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mother wasn't the type of parent that did a lot of whooping because she was a very small lady, and she had five kids that was a lot bigger than her. So my mama walked around every day, y'all, with a 22 pistol and used to threaten the hell out of us. <laughs> One day I forgot to wash dishes, she busted my room like a sniper. Papa, oh, bitches, didn't I tell y'all to wash them dishes? <laughs> I'm thinking like, we poor as hell, where she keep getting all these bullets from? <laughs> you shouldn't have more bullets than you do food. But the shit that used to piss me off the most about my mom, y'all, is every day when I came home from school, she would take me into her bedroom and make me sit in a chair and just throw a fucking newspaper in my lap and force me to read her, her horoscope. <laughs> because she couldn't read. But it used to piss me off because I couldn't read either. <laughs> so I would make up shit. Sagittarius, stop shooting at your kids. <laughs> Daddy ain't coming back. You look better with teeth. <laughs> and I will say this, growing up in the hood, I've been through a lot of my life, I have. I've been shot two times and hit by a dump truck. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck who shot me, they like, who hit you with a dump truck? <laughs> the same dude who shot me. We was in love. <laughs> I wish this shit wasn't true. <laughs> so the first 
first time I got shot, I was standing on the corner in my neighborhood. I was 15 years old, and I was standing there one night, and I'm running inventory through my small business. <laughs> and this guy right up, and he started shooting, so I started running. Y'all, I ran down through this alley, and I jumped over this fence. I know what y'all thinking, Miss Pat, your big ass ain't jumped over the fence. <laughs> Fuck y'all, that was 20 years ago. Back when fences were really strong. <laughs> I ran into my girlfriend's house, she was like, what's wrong? I'm like, they out there shooting. She was like, why you got blood all over your shirt? I look down, my whole right side is full of blood. So you know, ladies, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I snagged my nipples on the fence. <laughs> Cause they hang like that. <laughs> I'll give y'all a few minutes. I know there's some scary shit, white people. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for me. If you're feeling sorry for me, write me a check. <laughs> I look at my shirt and I'm bleeding really bad. I'm like, get me to the hospital. Y'all, we get to the hospital and the doctor examined me. He was like, ma'am, somebody blew your right nipple off. <laughs> I'm like, like a bullseye? <laughs> he was like, yeah, but you lucky. Because if you was an A cup, you would have died. <laughs> Them little titties would have got you killed, baby. <laughs> they real titties. These titties smell like feet in the middle. Okay, baby, you okay? <laughs> you know, white girls don't like you talking about their titties. <laughs> but I tell you, my life changed, y'all, when I went through the welfare to work program during Bill Clinton term. And I tell you, I don't know if you ever been on welfare, but welfare is a lot like diabetes. If the mama get it, there's a good chance the daughter might get it. <laughs> My mama got it, my sister got it, my nieces got it, I got it, my fucking daughter didn't get it. Cause let me tell you, I got a 21 year old niece that got five kids and she's on welfare. And I told her the other day, I was like, girl, won't you stop having all these damn babies and get a job? She was like, I can't get no job. I'm like, why? I'm like, Cause I got ADHD and I smoke weed. <laughs> I'm like, what? Michael Felt got ADHD, smoke weed, eight gold medal, and a Subway commercial. <laughs> Justin Timberlake got ADHD and he brought sexy back. <laughs> but I tell you, while I was on the welfare to work program, on this program I was able to get my GED, get off parole, and get my very first job. And I'm doing like most people do when they get their very first job working at McDonald's in the hood. I'm stealing $100 a day out of the register. <laughs> you know they don't pay shit. <laughs> I had just stole $100, y'all, and in walked this white dude with a suit on with a plug in his ear. So, you know, I'm thinking like, holy shit, they done caught me stealing, I'm going back to jail. <laughs> Two seconds later, he say, it's clear, send them in. In walked President Jimmy Carter. Now let me tell y'all something. In this point of my life, I was a straight hood rat. I had just stopped robbing white people and running out of grocery stores and shit. <laughs> and I remember Jimmy Carter face with my social studies book, but I couldn't remember his name for shit. <laughs> he get to my restaurant, and I do the most ghetto shit ever. I looked at Jimmy Carter, I'm like, nigga, where the fuck I know you from? <laughs> <laughs> Secret Service busts out laughing. <laughs> the boy the girl's like, no, Patricia, that's the president of the United States. I turn around to my nigga, I told y'all I know your ass. Your cheeseburger free. <laughs> Thank y'all, I'm Miss Pat. <laughs>